my dearly beloved brothers and sisters enakku meru arumayana sagodara sagodarigale we are standing on the first day of this new year kiron we all wait on god what he will speak to us prophetic words for each new year i feel a stirring in my spirit right now to tell you whenever god's people encounter dangers yeah. and surely dangers will come in this year onwards dangers are in store ahead for the people of god uh, my dearly beloved sons and daughters again and again i feel the stirring in my spirit to tell you yeah. dangers are ahead dark clouds are ahead the political forces will work against the people of god laws will be enacted in many nations against the people of god from this time onwards we may feel afflicted now we may feel tossed about now we may feel comfortless now. in the midst of all that your foundation is on a very strong stone like a sapphire fire is a hot stone you know some very expensive watches that you can buy the glass of the watch is made of sapphire and they are scratch proof and they are quite practically unbreakable because they are made of very hard stone glass like sapphire foundation will not be on a shaky ground as the good shepherd who goes before you will provide for you they who put their trust in the living god shall suffer no lack difficult times are coming difficult days are coming please be forewarned laws of the land will be formed formulated against the people of god many new laws will be written and their idea and their focus will be against only the children of the lord the christians and there are scriptural proofs in the bible for such precedents you must read the book of daniel very carefully chapter 3 and chapter 6 and also read the book of esther national law were made to attack godly people my dearly beloved brothers and sisters and sons and daughters and on december the 10th of last year as i was waiting on god yeah. i saw in a vision the number 70 Ten. and the lord jesus told me look out for this number 70 the coming new year 2017 will be the year of the 70 and the number 70 signifies the year of a turning around turn around and wait to take off and the sign is the number 70 what is the spiritual significance of the number 70 number 70 signifies like a cut off period if you read psalms chapter 90 and the verse 10 the bible tells us the age or the life span of a person is 70 years or if he has more faith and more strength 80 years 70 signifies a cut off period so which means something that has been happening in the past yeah. now god is cutting it off so that period of time that has taken place in the past will be no more okay. that's the first thing to take note of the spiritual significance of the number 70 mm-hmm. and the second thing that you will read is 70 also signifies of 70 palm trees by the spring of elim okay. in exodus chapter 15 verse 27 second thing about the number 70 it signifies a completion of fullness yeah. that is what the word kept on coming before me when i prayed and asked god for the meaning of the number 70 i was very puzzled by the number 70 oh i prayed and asked the lord one night lord what does this number 70 signify yes. then in the middle of the night that word came a completion of fullness so what does that mean a perfect spiritual order carried out with all power a perfect spiritual order carried out with full power yeah. and it also signifies a period of judgment yeah. so what does that really mean yeah. it is to announce the coming of god's kingdom with power 
to judge. Yes. That is the completion of fullness. And the word of the Lord came unto me to say, the days of grace is coming to an end, yes. just like how the days of law came to an end when the Lord Jesus came. The days of grace transited into the days of grace. Yes. I'm sorry, I should say, the days of law transited into the days of grace. In the same manner, the days of grace is reaching its end and transiting into the last days now. I was shocked one night when this word came unto me. When I was pondering about the completion of fullness, it's yeah. when the Lord Jesus said, the days of grace are now completed. Now yeah. it will transit to another age. And another dispensation one dispensation ends another now begins what is that the time has now come to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God yeah. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 the Lord Jesus told many signs the last sign before he comes said this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world and then the end shall come so that is the last sign hmm. so when the Lord Jesus said the time has now come to preach the gospel of the kingdom to be very honest with you I shuddered and trembled with fear because that is the last sign then the end shall come. So this is the last sign. And you know, interestingly, the Lord Jesus Christ also sent out 70 disciples to preach the gospel of the kingdom with power. In Luke chapter 10 verse 1, you read that. Yeah. Again, you see the number 70 there. My dearly beloved and respected men of God and all God's evangelists who are there, now the time has come to yeah. preach the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the preaching of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ to save us. Yeah. But the gospel of the kingdom is to preach about the coming of God's kingdom. If God willing, very soon we will organize a conference for evangelists. Okay. This is something God told us to do a few years ago. I was just praying and waiting for the right time. So now that time has come. Yeah. Even on Angel TV, you will see a new program based on the gospel of the kingdom. Thirdly, the number 70 is also very specifically connected with Israel. If you read Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 11, chapter 29 verses 10 to 14, and Daniel chapter 9 verse 2 the prophet Jeremiah prophesied about 70 years of captivity for Israel in Babylon and accordingly the Babylonian king came and captured Israel and took the people to be slaves into captivity in Babylon for 70 long years right now you may be scratching your head and wondering how can an ancient prophecy that happened thousands of years ago has any connection with the last days? Let me explain to you. When the prophet Daniel read the prophecy of the prophet Jeremiah, he was also a captive in Babylon. He was so troubled by that prophecy. He didn't quite understand about it. So he fasted and prayed. The end of his fast, the angel Gabriel came to visit him to explain the the prophecy to him. Yeah. You know, right here I like to pause for a moment and explain. Many, many innocent and misinformed people who say that angel don't visit us. They say, no, no, we only need the Holy Spirit. Only the Holy Spirit is enough to teach us everything. Okay. But right here in the Holy Bible is written in Daniel chapter 9 verses 24 to 27. Daniel was already filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. But the angel Gabriel came to explain that prophecy to him. So let's not with pride and arrogance push away some of the genuine works of God. When the angel Gabriel came, you will realize that when he explained about the prophecy in the 70 years of captivity, he connected that to another prophecy that was a 70 weeks prophecy. 
it was not a relationship to the 70 years but the 70 year prophecy had another dimension now and now it is a 70 week prophecy but it not only lasted for 70 weeks it stretched for a long period of time that included the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ, and it stretched to our time now. And when you read it, you will show us very clearly what everything means. Keeping this in mind, let me now reveal to you some modern day happenings. So How this number 70 and the 70 years now relates to these last days. On April 30th, the year 2014, as I was fasting and praying, as the angel Gabriel appeared to the prophet Daniel, the angel Michael visited me. He had a scroll in his hand. When he Unfold the scroll. I saw the number 1948 yeah. and 1967. Yeah. I was wondering what is the meaning of these numbers. And the angel Michael explained to me, significant events took place in God's land and among God's people in those two years. When he said that, I understood what happened. In 1948, Israel got her independence and she became an independent state. But as soon as she became a state, she faced a war that happened in 1948 and in 1967 Israel fought another war called the Six Days War and during the Six Day War they regained the many lost lands that were originally biblical Israel they regained Golan Heights Golan Heights was part of Samaria and they regained the West Bank and most importantly they regained East Jerusalem for the first time in 2000 years Jerusalem that was divided into East and West was reunited so that was a very significant thing that happened in 1967 and there was a war and below the two numbers I saw the word or the number 2017 written there and the angel Michael said another major war is planned a major change and shift in government and land is coming and on March 11 2015 while I was waiting on God I had a heavenly experience I saw myself in heaven and I was standing before the Lord Jesus Christ I saw Two saints standing together with the Lord Jesus. One I recognize as the prophet Moses and the other I recognize as the prophet Jeremiah. And after speaking to me about some matters, the Lord Jesus turned to the prophet Jeremiah and said, teach him about the 70 years. So then the prophet Jeremiah came near me and he said, 70 years in the history of Israel is very, very significant. And there is going to come a turning point in the history of Israel in the year 2017. He said that will be the 70th year of the history of Israel since its formation. I was quite dumbfounded when this was said. In my mind, I made a mental calculation. Israel gained independence in the year 1948. If you add 70 years, it will be the year 2018 and not 2017. So very respectfully I asked the Saint Jeremiah about this. So he said, no, you are wrong. The count should be from the time when the covenant was first signed. Yeah. So I found that the state of Israel was first planned and signed by the United Nations on November 29, 1947. So that day in that year, the agreement was made that there should be a state of Israel. So, 1947 plus 70 equals to 2017. So, what is significant about 2017 in relationship to Israel? A 70 year is ending. So, what will befall Israel and the nations of the world when this covenant of 70 years ends? Like the prophecy of Jeremiah in Jeremiah 25 11 Israel will go to another captivity how is it possible you may wonder let me tell you one shocking news on December 23rd 
2016, the United Nations passed a resolution to divide Israel into two states. You know what is another very interesting thing? In November 29, 1947, when the United Nations plan the state of israel at that time it said they divided israel into two okay. the state of israel israel or pakam and the state of the palestine but somehow for the last 70 years this was not really formulated okay. now after 70 years on december 23 2016 the united nations at the united nations security council meeting the united nation security council is the most important decision making authority and that has passed a resolution right. that in 2017 israel should be divided into two and there will be a state of palestine and a state of israel and the most sad thing is all this while the us has been a great friend and protector of israel but on that day when the resolution was passed us just kept quiet in fact they were the one who proposed that resolution you know what is amazing on november 30th in the year 2011 i was fasting and praying on mount sinai for 3 days on the second day as i was drinking a cup of tea and meditating the word of god one morning as i was deeply meditating the word of god i saw an open vision a mighty angel with a drawn sword appeared before me he said this israel will be betrayed by her closest friend and the nation that will betray israel the same fit will happen to her when he said that i was wondering who is israel's closest friend and a map of the united states appeared before the angel and the angel pulled back his sword and thrust in the center of the us he said the nation that will be responsible for dividing the land of israel will likewise be separated into two my dearly beloved brothers and sisters and as the lord jesus christ was whipped 39 times when this partition is carried out israel will be beaten with like stripes as the rope of the lord jesus was parted by the roman soldiers so will the land be divided you know according to the united nations resolution not only the land will be divided even the city of jerusalem will be divided jerusalem will become the new capital for the state of palestine and west jerusalem will be the capital of the state of israel you will be surprised to know that such a thing has already been prophesized in the book of zechariah in chapter 1 verses 12 to 16 the land will be divided and a line will be drawn in jerusalem how amazing but how sad at the same time mm. on christmas day of 2016 i went to a church early in the morning to attend and minister in their service mm. and when i returned home i began to wait on god at 3 in the afternoon that afternoon the lord began to speak to me about many things that are going to come to pass in this new year and many of the things you are hearing me sharing with you right now and then the lord jesus said a new disease that will eat the skin like skith the skin will break out in western countries as a form of punishment for touching the apple of god's eye merkatiya desangal ayropa gandathilulla merkatiya desangal mele inda or deva kopam varum enendral kartharodiya kan imaye israel desathe avargal tottu pirithadinal a punishment like this will come upon the western countries because they have touched the apple of the lord's eyes which is the people of israel then i saw the sky being darkened and meteors that were burning bright began to fall down from the sky not one not two 
ஒன்று அல்ல இரண்டு அல்ல மெனி மீட்டியோர்ஸ் பிகன் டு ஃபால் சயின்டிஸ்ட் கால் சச் ஃபெனோமினா அ மீட்டியோர் ஷவர் அண்ட் தி மீட்டியோர்ஸ் ஃபால் இன் லார்ஜ் நம்பர்ஸ் தி பைபிள் டெல்ஸ் us that the falling of meteor showers will herald the coming of the lord jesus when they fall everywhere yeah. trees will burn in large numbers in large areas they will begin to burn mountains will spew and burn anega vidamana malaygal apdiye mountains will burn volcanoes will burn they will start to burn and they will start to spew out lavas they will spew lava high and in large quantity and they will lava will shoot high up in the sky and when they fall avigal keele vilumbolde they will fall on the waters reservoirs and drinking systems holding waters that will cause the waters to become bitter and undrinkable now what will happen next in the church the lord jesus said a separation is coming in the church what kind of separation revelation chapter 22 verse 11 the scripture says he who is unjust let him be unjust still he who is filthy let him be filthy still he who is righteous let him be righteous still he who is holy let him be holy still a separation is coming in the church two groups irandu vidamana kulukal unrighteous and filthy righteous and holiness a separation is coming which group will you fall into the righteous group or unrighteous group the filthy group or holy group they whose heart has already been prepared they will choose likewise to be in one of the two my dearly beloved brothers and sisters and you cannot be a lukewarm christian any longer the lord is holding his scales in his hand the lord god is holding the scale of weighing you right in his hand the lord has called me to organize a very special prophetic conference for 3 days in the coming days in january 14 15 and 16 three evenings we are going to have prophets who will come and speak and i will continue this message in greater detail during those days but right now god is showing me a scale in his hand and the angels of god and the horses of god have been stationed and positioned around the churches in second kings chapter 2 you read that the prophet elijah was caught up alive to heaven chariot came pulled by horses of fire before elijah was caught up his eyes saw those horses and the chariot and in second kings chapter 5 you will read that the syrian army came against the prophet elijah and they were helped or protected by god's army and elijah's eyes saw the mountain surrounded with horses of fire and chariots of fire the prophet elijah and the prophet elisha's spiritual eyes were opened and they saw the spiritual army god has positioned his army on the earth every pastor and every evangelist every youth leader every minister true minister of god your spiritual eyes must be open to see this army of god that is stationed for you if elijah's spiritual eyes were not opened he could not have got into the chariot if elijah's eyes were not opened he could not have seen the spiritual army sent to protect him in order to ascend unto god you need spiritual eyes to be opened in order to be protected by god in these last days your spiritual eyes needs to be opened my dearly beloved brothers and sisters this my sons and daughters i feel very strong in my spirit to tell you time will delay no longer the forces of evil the army of evil has risen up but the church is sleeping when will she wake up when will she shrug off all her differences and put on the armor of god time will delay no longer time will delay no longer the lord has prepared his spiritual weapons for you he has prepared his spiritual gifts for you even as i am speaking right now if i see a pair of eagles wings been prepared for some people 
Are you ready to receive? Come on, close your eyes. Lift up your hands and just worship the Lord from the innermost of your heart. Just stand up to your feet right now. Lift up your hands and just worship the Lord in your heart now. Angels of God will now visit you. And I see them bearing in their hands swords and scrolls. Many angels of the Lord are coming right now in your midst with swords and with scrolls in order to give it unto you. Eagles with sharp eyes are also now flying towards you. Agni Jua. The Lord God is also standing with burning fire with you. Yeah. 4,000 years ago, just like you went like a cloud of fire right in front of the people of Israel. Uh, in the same way in these last days, he's right now come in our midst in order to go as a cloud of fire right before his people who are following after him with a true heart. Even while they were walking in the wilderness of Sinai, the Lord taught them as to how to make war to the people of Israel through Moses. They also learned the tactics of how to do the war. They also made ready the weapons for the warfare. In the same way, spiritual weapons for your warfare has been prepared for you right now. In many of your houses right in front of you, I can see the angels of the Lord coming down and placing swords right in front of you. Right in front of many young children, this burning sword has been cared. It is also been placed right in front of little children as the age of three years and about. I can see a very bright open heaven right in front of me. I can see glorious beam coming right down from there towards you. Come on, open your mouth and give praise and glory to God right now. Raise your hands, lift your heads up and open your mouth and give praises to the Lord God. Even right now a glorious cloud is coming towards you. Even right now the spiritual eyes of the little ones are being opened. You can also feel the presence of the Lord God filling your heart. You are also even able to hear the sound of the swords clashing with one another. You can also hear the rolling down of the wheels of the chariots coming straight into your house even right now. Yes. My ears are hearing that and my eyes are seeing it. Malik. You can read in the book of Psalms that on the top of the mountains the roads of chariots were rolling over. Adi. In that same way it is coming down right now. In order to protect the children of the Lord. The host of the Lord. It is coming and protecting. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. I see the nation of Singapore right now. God is going to visit her. He is going to visit her with goodness and with judgment. He has a whip in his hand. When he visited Jerusalem, he whipped out and chased out all the false workers of God. Then he did a good thing in them. I see the face of the Lord and the eyes of the Lord looking towards the nations of South Korea, China and Taiwan. He's going to visit those nations. He's going to send his angels to visit those nations. And they're going to bring out goodness in them. The nation of Japan is going to experience another shakening. Just when we thought all is over for that nation. Another massive earthquake will come there. That will shake and sink her. The days of God's wrath and judgment are being made manifest. Yeah. Who can stand before yeah. the consuming fire? Mm -hmm. Come on, people of God. Yeah. Lift up your hands yeah. and worship the living God. Many governments in many nations are going to be shaken. Yeah. Those who think and pride themselves that they are uncheckable and unremovable that governments will be toppled and be removed mm. such political leaders who pride themselves that they are very strong and immovable the hand of the Lord will come to remove you mm. not only remove but uproot you from the foundation mm. and his hand will cast you far away that you cannot be found humble yourselves there is a God in the heavens uh. the true living God who rules the heavens. He is not made with hands. He is an invisible God. Worship Him only. Thank you Holy Father for blessing each and every one of you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. When you write please write your full name and also the city or the country where you are from. Now lift up your holy hands for the blessings. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.